Come on. Come, come on. I'm going to break this lid, as I know I am. See, I like to put... I like to put filters on the end of my lenses, not because I like the fancy effects. I use filters on the end of my lenses to protect them. These things. So if anything does happen to the lens, like for example, if some idiot at an air show decides to kick your camera over on the floor and the thing's gonna hit the concrete, then the thing that smashes is the actual lens protector at the end and not the lens itself. You remember what happened in Sun and Fun, when it? I can't get the ring around the outside. I can't get the actual ring off. Yeah? Of course I've Googled it. How to remove lens filter stuff. Help. I must keep this. Apparently they say you can use a hacksaw to kind of make a couple of grooves either side and then use it to twist. When this thing's stuck on the end, you just can't get the grip with your own hands to... I'm a little bit worried that it's slightly close. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm filming this as well, by the way, on my iPhone because this is obviously my main wide angle lens, but I don't know whether you can see there's a little groove there and another one, if I put the saw in there, turn. Hey. Good news and bad news. Good news is the lens is fine. Bad news is this stubborn. Extreme ways to remove. You ever do that thing where you get a jam jar and you can't open the lid and so you bang the jam jar a few times around the outside? Every time a plane goes by. All right, ready? Uh, did no. There's no way I can get this off. This is welded on for sure. So there's only one thing for it. We're going to take a trip into town. I don't think I ever show off enough my hometown of Melbourne here on these vlogs. If you ever get a chance to come into Melbourne town, you see all these laneways that connect kind of the main streets here in the CBD. They look super frightening from the first time you actually see them, but they're not. They're really cool places. Come down, come down, bring your camera. You can get some awesome pictures of the graffiti that's down here. And it's cool. And like, families are coming down here, like you can see behind me. Not scary at all. Well worth having a look. I love it. This is Michael's camera store here in Melbourne on George Boyk Burke Street, which is Michael's camera store here on Elizabeth Street in Melbourne. You've got your B&H cameras in New York. This is kind of the equivalent for us. This is where I come down and if I'm not spending money at the airport, I'm spending money here. But if there's anyone who can hopefully get this filtering thingy off this lens, then it's going to be the experts in here. So fingers crossed, let's see what they can do. So if people are comfortable <laughs> with this sort of thing, I definitely uh, usually just sneak out. This is Kirsten, thank you for helping out. Kirsten's gonna uh, brutally extract the ring now from the outside of our ATD, so I'm gonna hand it over to you. Oh, so yeah. we kind of have to chop our way through both of them. A lovely process of a bit of a wiggle and a bit of a twist as you're going, so you can try and peel the thread away. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. It's, it's slightly it's, painful to watch. It's terrifying. This is like your kid being in surgery. Yup. <laughs> And often we'll just pull out a couple of little chunks like that. Oh yeah. Just little chunks of metal. The camera was on a tripod. Uh -huh. I was watching something and I, oh hang on, smashed but it protected the lens. Oh look at that. Where is this part? 
success. That's a success. <laughs> there we go, that's the other bit. Is it looking all right though, this red? Yeah, it's looking really good okay. actually. Fantastic. Thank you so much. No you made that really painless. <laughs> I spent a good hour this morning with a hacksaw, a hammer, kind of banging it on the table a little bit. And you've done that in about three minutes. It's my favorite job. <laughs> <laughs> You're a star. Thank you, Michaels. This is not a sponsored post by Michaels, but if you need anything done in Melbourne, you've got a camera and it's broken, you need fixing, any parts, Michaels are the people. <laughs> okay, I thought that was going to be a good idea to try and get the helicopter taken off from here. But of course, what I didn't realise was the helicopter takes off from here and we're on this. We're on this little platform here by the river. So he takes off from here and then which way is the wind going, Steph? Oh yeah, right towards us. So he's going to take off. He starts drifting towards us and then pretty much he's on top of us. And all that downwash from his, all the rotor wash comes down, hits us, almost blows my coffee over, I nearly lost my bag with all the equipment into the river. This is the helipad down here at Batman Park uh, in Melbourne. Yeah, if you're not from Melbourne, we do have um, roads and areas called Batman. Nothing to do with the amazing superhero, but actually to do with um, John Batman, who was kind of a historical figure here in Australia. But as a Brit coming into Australia, the first time you come to Melbourne, it's like awesome. Go, you go, you name your parks after superheroes? <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if you can see the sky at the moment, it's pretty gnarly today, no flying for us today. But one thing that I always do, and this is a good tip for you new pilots and even experienced pilots out there, is any time I look at the weather and I think to myself, oh, I wonder if we could get a flight in today, I actually pull up my phone, and even though I know I'm not flying today, I just use it as practice to think, well, if I had to fly today, would I still go ahead? So what have we got? So the wind's 260, 23 knots, gusting 40 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers, showers of light rain, scattered cloud 4,500. What would you do? I don't know what I'd do, I'm not taking off in these winds. Look at it, it's ridiculous. I'd spend the next five hours drinking coffee and making YouTube videos, and then I'd wait for the wind to die down, and then I'd go fly. Now, of course, that weather forecast is fairly accurate because it has just started to rain, so I think we need to get moving. <laughs> Oh, I was just going to walk off there, but the chopper's coming back, so let's find a more appropriate place to stand. We can watch him coming in. <laughs> Even in a vlog all about my broken camera, I can still get something flying in there. What a nerd. This is cool, hey? Like Melbourne's full of these things, little sculptures, little art pieces around every corner. This is a, obviously a train carriage. The railway line just goes along past it, and if you've never seen it before, the first time you see it, it is a little bit like, what? All right, I just want to take a quick second just to say to everyone who subscribed over the last couple of weeks, the subscription numbers on this channel have gone up quite a lot, and way more than I was expecting. So if you are new to the channel, Hey, a big thank you for subscribing. Thanks for joining me on this journey here on YouTube. If you subscribe for the travel stuff, there's a lot more of that coming up. There's a few more trips planned in the next few months. If you're here for the aviation stuff, now that we're checked out on the SR22 with our instrument racing, loads of trips planned out of Moorabbin as well. And if you're just here for the vlogs, then there's gonna be loads of those too as well, like this one in Melbourne, fixing my camera and all the, all the stuff that goes on in my life. So thank you for subscribing, it means a lot. And properly starting to rain now so I need to get some shelter I'm gonna head back to the station and head back home thank you as always for watching tell you what it's a good thing we've got this lens protector right